Before the video starts, about 96% of you guys are not subscribed. Subscribing and clicking that notification bell does help me out and a lot in doing what I really want to do. Thank you guys so much for all the support. What is going on guys? Rogue TCG here, here bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG deck profile. You voted, I responded. Here is Phantom Knights. Just Phantom Knights, it's Phantom Knights. <laughs> Uh, this is the right, TCG uh, Phantom Knight deck profile. This is going to be for a semi-rogue deck, so you can't expect this deck to actually perform in a tournament setting. Um, hopefully. <laughs> That's the idea behind it. Uh, this deck is a lot of fun. It's one of my personal favorite pet decks. It's the deck that I played the most uh, previously. The deck that I got the most uh, results with. So, here it is. Uh, this deck is very resilient. Um, you can play hand traps because all your hand traps are combo pieces. But well, that's enough to happen. On to the deck profile. Sorry for interrupting. I have an announcement. This Sunday, January 27th at 5 p.m. will be my first stream on YouTube. So please come by and say hi. I'll build any deck that viewers suggest in a deck building stream. So if you have a deck you want to see built, stop on by. That's all. Now back to the video. Alrighty. And on to the main deck. First off, for our Phantom Knight monsters, we are on a triple torn scale. On Ignition, you can discard a card to send a Phantom Knight card other than itself to the grave, and then if it's in the grave and a Phantom Knight card is banished by any means, you can special summon this card from your grave to your field, except it's banished when it leaves the field. That does not count as it leaving the field after being detached as an Xyz material or the Xyz monster leaving the field. So, um, it's an Xyz deck. It's a rank 3 deck. So, uh, this is uh, Old Goblins, Old Goblinos, but... Um, so yeah, now on to our next Phantom Knight, Phantom Knight of um, Silent Boots. If you control another Phantom Knight, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then you can banish it on ignition from your grave to add a Phantom Knight spell trap from your deck to your hand. That's it for our multiples. Now we have one Stained Greaves. You can special summon this card from your hand when you special summon a Phantom Knight monster, uh, and then you can opt to change this card's level to four also if it's in the grave you can banish it to then special summon a phantom knight from your hand and then you can choose to make that card's level four as well you're typically not going to be doing that but we do have rank fours that we can make because a lot of our phantom knights can modulate into fours we are on one ragged gloves um when this is attached to, to an xyz material the xyz monster gains the effect to gain a thousand attack um that is a mandatory effect that does just activate so there is a chance that your Xyz monster might get Ghost ogre if you do have a Ragged Gloves on it, and you can't forget to notify your opponent that you are... Ragged Gloves is under it, and the monster has a mandatory effect to try and gain a 1,000 attack. And it has the effect when in the grave, you can banish it to send any other Phantom Knight card from your deck to your grave. So this is just the foolish burial of the entire archetype, so we're playing one of it. And then lastly, we are on Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. Um, this card on field, you can change it from attack position to defense position by um, targeting a dark monster, and it'll gain 800 attack into your opponent's end phase. And if this card's in your graveyard, you can banish it to add one The Phantom Knight's card, which is pretty much only monsters, but it does include one trap card, which is relevant. That's it for the Phantom Knight monsters. Now on to sub supplementary engines. We're not playing Adventure, so that means we are playing a Tour Guide from the Underworld. So we're playing three of those. On Normal, it'll Special Summon a Level 3 Fiend from your deck, except its effects are negated and it can't be used for a Synchro Summon. We ain't sinking, so that doesn't matter. Fiends that we're going to be summoning. Main one we're going to be summoning, Graph. The one Graph is going to be summoning, Seer. Uh, we don't want to be do playing too many bricks, so we're only playing these two. That's it for the uh, Tour Guide engine. Now on to extenders. Uh, this is extender.deck, so we need to be playing a lot of extenders in this deck. So we have one Psychic Wielder. If you control level 3 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon it once per turn that way. And it's just level 3. It's just a level 3. That's the reason we're playing it. And we are playing a Triple Kage Mucha Knight. Uh, if you normal summon a 3, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, this card is so powerful in this deck, especially in the Tour Guide version, because it does chain block Tour Guide, meaning your opponent can't Ash Blossom it anymore, which is the main thing you're scared of your Tour Guide getting Ashed. Like, you don't want your Tour Guide getting Ashed. So, um, we're running 3 Kagamucha Knight. It turns Ash into a play starter, because you can normal summon Ash, special summon Kagamucha, and then get off to the races. 
Speaking of Ash, we are on three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. I know it's wild seeing this in a deck profile now. I've been playing way too much Orcus, so it hasn't been in there. But we are on triple Ash Blossom. And then for our other main deck hand traps, we are on one and one of other Ghost Girls. We are on one Ghost Ogre. Because if you notice our Psychic Wielder, it's a Psychic type. Because we are running Eteli. So we need a secondary target for our Eteli. So we are running one Ghost Ogre. And then we do also have Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Um, this is more of kind of like a tech card. We can definitely side this one out. Uh, just try and get out in this deck. Next, our spells and traps. This is going to be more of our utility stuff. We are on a triple Forbidden Droplet. Um, this deck loves to discard cards. We have spells, we have traps, spells, traps, and monsters. So we are going to be able to basically make this unrespondable to so uh very powerful interaction there Par very powerful card in this deck since everything activates in grave uh we are on one triple tactics talents this is our 40th card just applying it to play the 40 card engine we are on one called by the grave for hand traps we are on one foolish burial because we are a graveyard deck again for extenders we are on double Eteli again. And then for our in-engine spell, we are on one Phantom Knight Rank Up Magic Launch. Um, this card is very powerful. It goes with Dark Rebellion. And if you guys want to see a, a combo tutorial of that, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'll be scheduling one for next week if you guys are interested in that. Lastly, for our trap cards, we have three hand traps in our trap cards. And that's triple infinite impermanence we are on a little bit of a higher hand trap count than you're typically used to for my decks we are on eight different hand traps with four different going like second board breaker staplish cards but now we are on our phantom knight spell traps we are on a triple fog blade this is just an imperm on legs uh this is better than imperm because you can survive if you just have like a monster on field and your opponent has like way over game you can activate Fog Blade, target your own monster, and your opponent just can't attack. If your opponent can't attack any monsters you control, this doesn't have the text to allow them to attack directly like Toon World does. So you can't you can't like attack anymore. It just takes away that option from them. And it's really funny when opponents don't understand and you just do it to them and they go, okay, I'll go to combat. And you go, sure. They go attack. And I you cannot, you cannot attack, sir. Lastly. We are on one Shade Brigadine. This is the the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine, so we can search it with Cloak. And this guy is just a free special summon from our back row. We can activate the turn if we set it. If we have no traps in our grave, which we're typically not going to be having. Um, and it'll just special summon as a level 4 body. And then lastly, Phantom Knight's Wings. Because something I didn't mention about Fog Blade and the reason we are playing Wing is Fog Blade in the grave, the reason it's better than Imperm, is you can banish it from your grave at quick effect speed since it's a trap. Just special summon a Phantom Knight from your grave, except it's banished and it leaves a field. Uh, that's a hard ones per turn, unlike its first effect. So we're playing a Wings to get around that, because this also has the exact same graveyard effect as Fog Blade. So we have two different graveyard monster reborns in the deck. Uh, Phantom Knight's Wing actually has a pretty decent on-field effect. will prevent a card from being destroyed by a battle card effect. And the next time it would be. So it's a lingering effect that will just stay on a monster and give it an 800, I think it's 800 attack stat boost. No, I, I apologize. It's 500 attack stat boost. Now on to the extra deck. We are on one Cherubini. We are on one SP Little Knight. We are on one IP Mascarena. We're, of course, on that Rusty Bardish. We are on that Nightmare Unicorn. Very powerful card, along with the SP. We are on one Axe Coat, and our last... Uh, Link Monster, we are on one White Woman Jump Scare. Now, on to the XEs. We are on two Breaksword. We are on two Levier in order to maintain our resources, since we are running a lower amount of Phantom Knights in our main deck. We are running Levier in order to make up for that in our X deck. This also works very well with our SP Little Knight. We are running one Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, as well as one Raider's Knight in their respective cards. 
Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon. And then Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Dark Requiem being our main boss monster. Being not once per turn, not once per chain, monster effect, negation, destruction, and brings back an Xyz. It's a mouthful, but that's all it does in one effect. And then Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon being a way to kill your opponent into the sun. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you still are, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank y'all so much for watching the video, it really means a lot. If you want to talk to other Yu-Gi-Oh players in a competitive manner, please feel free to check out my Discord. We are still growing, but we would love to have you, and we plan to do some events sometime soon. You will also be able to do cool stuff like vote on future videos and topics of videos, so swing by sometime and check us out. I also started a Patreon, so that will be linked in the description of my videos from now on. Donating would mean a lot, and would help in producing these videos. Right now, there's only one tier being Tier 1 Femboy. This tier includes access to an exclusive Discord channel where you'll be able to talk amongst other Femboys and have access to discussions with me as well, as well as getting a shout out in every video following at your patronage. Thank you so much for all your support.